But Cuddle, oh, he goes down hard. You can see clearly he's in some real pain. Ooh, right in the face, too. And then the hard fall, unable to brace his fall. Game 4 was heated, and we witnessed another thriller ending. So we gotta dive straight into it. But first, here's a big announcement. You asked for it, and we made it possible. Raid Game is finally on Android, so after this video, download the app from the link in the description and join us in raiding these games. The Pacers came out ready to fight with all they got, even with their superstar on the sidelines. The conference final as he cuts back door, layup slot. Good help defense as well as McConnell comes the other way. Here's McDermott. McDermott, another good three point shooter, nails that one. McDermott right back to McConnell. McConnell drives down the lane. Scoop layup. Oh, at the buzzer. TJ McConnell. A gorgeous play. Thing is, the Celtics came out ready to close things out early, led by a hot start by Drew Holiday and some Jason Tatum magic. Holiday stops, fires, straight quarters good. Holiday has really found his stroke as the playoffs have gone on. Here's Tatum, gets past her, inside for the slam. Mason Tatum flies to the rim. However, Tatum had to work on the defensive end as well, as Siakam punished Boston with some beautiful mid-range shots. In fact, he came into Game 4 shooting a blistering 62% on mid-ranges. This is automatic for him. Mason's only down two and they haven't shot the ball well. Siakam shoots the ball well there. And Andrew Nemhart started out blazing hot once again, following his career high in Game 3. He dissected the defense in all kinds of ways. Pull up jumpers, catch and shoot threes were money as well, and he also took it all the way to the rim. 14 first half points for Nimar. Nimar spins, goes right at Brown, stops and banks it home. And he closed out the half in the best possible way. Nimar spinning, goes in, puts it up. It's good, Nimar again at the buzzer. The Pacers began the third in a similar way to how they closed out the half. Turner, high, arcing three is good. Turner, no hesitation. Turner, back to back threes. And this is the largest lead for the Pacers. So, in a back and forth battle in this period, it was Jalen Brown who kept Boston afloat as the only aggressive Celtic looking to attack. Jalen Brown, the spin move. Nimar shuts him off. Shot clock at four. Brown tries again. Layup, he banks it in. He would not take no for an answer. His teammates started to settle for the three and could not hit it as Boston shot just two for 12 during this stretch. But this was a top three defensive team for the season, so the tough defense kept Indiana from making a big run. Here comes McConnell, McConnell to the basket, blocked by White! Oh, what a rejection! Just electric on the defensive end, relentless, never gives up on a play, the best shot blocking guard in the league, no doubt about it. So with 15 lead changes and neither team being able to pull away, we could see another thriller ending taking place. And in a do or die situation, this guy started to take over again. Foul line jumper, got it. DJ McConnell double figures again. Nice feet inside, McConnell banks it in. Nimhard off the bounce again, McConnell. Turn, shoot, and scores. TJ McConnell now with 15. Timeout, Boston. Pacers back up by four. Everything seemed to be going the Pacers' way, and with Neesmith attacking as well, this became an eight point lead with less than six minutes to go. Nimhard keeps that dribble alive, floats it out. Neesmith again goes right at Brown, pulls up, jump shot. That's good! Back to back buckets for Neesmith. The crowd explodes, and the win is so close that they could feel it. But then, the unthinkable. Made it one over Turner, who's got five fouls. Step back, three pointers up. It's good! Jackson Tatum from downtown. Five on the 24. Tatum on the drive, goes inside and throws it down. Tatum with force, it's back to two. Seven to shoot. Jalen Brown the drive, leans in, the floater's up, it's good, tie game! Wow, this is a team with championship aspirations responding when it matters the most, and just like that, it's tie game. So for the next two full minutes, the court became a battlefield and no team was willing to give up a bucket as we saw fight for every ball, contesting every shot and doing everything it takes to get the win. Which set the stage for this. <laughs> Brown on the drive, pulls back, lost the ball, got it back, kicks it out, White, corner three, bang! Derek White from downtown, Celtics by three! Unbelievable, the great penetration by Brown forcing the issue and then the kick out to White for yet another huge shot for him in this playoff run. 
Indiana has to score now and the ball is in Nemhart's hands. He steps back and misses. But there is still time left on the clock and the Pacers choose not to foul, hoping for one more chance to tie this game. But... Back of the room moves on. Oh, Holland in the offensive rebound. Now the Pacers have to foul. Brown has it. Final seconds. That's it. It's over. The Celtics are heading back. To the, NBA Finals. the Celtics are headed to their second NBA final in three years after completing the sweep that actually gave us three nail biter games. You already know that I'm rating every single one of these playoff games on Raid Game, the app that I myself am a part of, and I gave this one a 9.3 for the wild pendulum swings every possession all the way to the end. You got links for both the Android version as I mentioned as well as the iOS down in the description. Download it and join our community in rating and reviewing these games. Back to the celebration and the awards as we saw Jalen Brown get the MVP of the conference finals. Jalen, you you uh, seemed genuinely surprised when Cedric Maxwell called your name for that trophy. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. You know, I'll never win shit, so uh, I was just happy that we won. I think I'm one of the best two-way wings, guards, whatever you want to say in this game. Brown deserved to win this award, especially after we saw what happens when you make him mad. You gotta check out this video and see what he did. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out.